What's going on YouTube? RuneScape Novice here with a uh, different kind of video. Today I'm actually going to be doing an Orica review over the Orica cards, both super rare and common variants, from the eBay seller Shiro Guitar. I haven't seen too many Orica review videos, and I'm actually a knife reviewer primarily, so when I do these kind of videos I always want to do them in a review format. Figured I might as well do an actual review. I'm going to start reviewing Oricas from different manufacturers, both for uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! and, let me go ahead and grab this real quick, I'll be doing Yu-Gi-Oh! Orica reviews and Magic Orica reviews. Alright, so look for those if you happen to play both games, if you happen to play both Magic and Yu-Gi-Oh! I'll start with the um, Yu-Gi-Oh! ones though, again, these are Sinshiro guitars. I have four super rares from him at the moment, and technically I have six commons. Three are the effects lights, and three are the anime god cards. We'll start talking about the uh, the super rares, two monsters and two spells. And what I'm going to discuss is the quality of the cards themselves, how close they look to a genuine card, um, how fair I think the deal is for the money, what I'd like to see different about them, how it, I think he can improve it, and so on and so forth. So, I'm going to start out by saying his super rares are generally about $10 per card. So basically I'm holding $40 in my hand, just from these four cards. So yes, that is somewhat expensive. I know a lot of you are thinking, well, for, you know, ten dollars a card, that's roughly the price of a um, higher end usable card for a deck. Why would I buy an Orica? Uh, these are pretty much for the purpose of collecting for using in challenge decks for casual play, just to have fun with. I happen to use all four of these Oricas in my Guardian challenge. So they're a lot of fun to play with, just with your friends. Of course, not tournament legal. Um, We'll start with the card of sanctity here. This is the anime effect card of sanctity. I'll let you see this all here. Okay, it looks very close to a genuine uh, spell card. Let me go ahead and see if I can find a, a card that actually says spell. Because the ones I pulled aside for comparison all say magic. Here we go. You can see the font is close. Not quite, but it's very close for the um, actual text box. A little bit bolder on the font on the Orca, but overall very close. The color is fairly close. I'll pull these out of their sleeves so that way you can get a better view. The color of the card itself is pretty close. You know how magic cards and spell cards tend to uh, jump all over the place when co on color. So overall I think that he did a pretty good job capturing that. Um, you can see the pack information, PFC, EN, 787. That's one thing I'd like to see change. He has a space between the EN and the 787 there. Um, if I bring over a normal card or a real card, you can see that EN and then 129 here is not spaced. So I'd like to see him eliminate that space in there. It doesn't really fit and takes away from the feel of the card as far as I'm concerned. Also, lose that limited edition mark there. Um, don't have it say limited. Don't have it say first. Add just... Leave it blank. Make them look like they're unlimited edition, because when I see the limited edition stuff, I usually think cheap, and tend to associate it with cheap. So, that's just me. Um, you can see he did put a hollow foil name, so almost like a secret rare name. That's kind of cool. I like seeing that, and even the attribute sign is kind of foil. The entire card is foil. Now, how does it compare to an actual foil card? Okay, well, let me bring this up, because this is one thing I noticed not too long ago. While it is definitely super rare, and you can see it's holographic, it's not quite up there with a the genuine card. Here we have an LOB Dark Hole, super rare. You can see how shiny that is, how reflective this, not so much. It's kind of, it's foil, but it's just kind of barely foil. So I know it's all a matter of the kind of paper that he has on hand to print these with, but there is a noticeable difference between a genuine Yu-Gi-Oh! super rare and these. So it's worth noting. These also are also thicker because what they are, maybe you'll be able to see that, maybe you won't. Orca cards are literally printed off uh, using a high quality printer on some high quality paper. I believe they're ra laser printed onto holographic paper here and then carefully glued to the front of a regular card. Now I have not noticed any of Sinchiro guitar stuff starting to peel or come apart so he does a very good job on that. They're all fitted well. They're all put together nicely. I think for $10 you really are getting a pretty good deal with Sinchiro guitar stuff. But I know some people are, uh, have an issue with the printed or the glued orcas. Pretty much all orcas are done this way, guys. It's just a matter of how well you do it. He did a pretty good job. 
All I can really say is just ditch that space in there, ditch that limited edition sign, and ditch these pack numbers down here, or not the pack numbers, but the um, the card number. And the reason why, you'd enter those if you wanted to actually get the card in game. These cards, obviously, well this one, you know, you might actually have the regular card of Sanctity number, but on something like Reaper Scythe, Dread Scythe, which was never made as a regular card, it's just pointless to have that down there. I'd rather have nothing at all. But that's just me. Let me quickly re sleeve these cards that I pulled out of my deck here. So that way they're not floating around without sleeves on. So that's one. The rest of them are pretty much the same way. I'll show you them all so you can see. Yeah, you can see it's, it's foil, but not to the same extent, really. This one's a little better than that card of Sanctity was. Same issue with the... Um, spacing though and the limited edition and all that. Again though very well fit, very well put together. Moving on to the monsters, here we have Backup Gardener. Um, again, super rare. Now the monsters he did very well. And the reason I say that is because I'll compare it to a super rare uh, Maha Vilo. Again, you can see the, the real cards j definitely do have more reflection. There definitely are more holographic. But the stars are right. The shade is very close. Um, he really did a good job on the font on these. It looks a lot closer to the real card. Of course, the copyright information is the same. Didn't show the backs because these are literally just the backs of real cards that have been glued on. So obviously they're gonna look the same. But he does a good job on all this stuff. I just he just missed the marks on a few things. Just ditch that space, ditch that limited edition, and ditch that card number, and you'll be all right. And then we have Guardian Dread Scythe. Okay, so that's the super rares that I have from him. I also did order a um, Legendary Dragon, the Thing of Critias, but I traded that off to Mewtwo Overkill. So if you want to see that, I'm sure he may, might do a video on that in the future. I'll show you the commons now. Okay, these are the three anime god cards with their respective effect slates. And these are actually a very cool deal because you get all three with their effects lights for $25. So if you want to have these awesome looking god cards to use in your deck, I use the Obelisk and sometimes the Raw. Um, you can. And they'll look truly unique in your deck. Okay, these are all common. You can see how these are printed. Very high quality. Very well made. Laser printed. Well fitted. They look like a regular common. No peeling, it all fits well. Okay, that's raw. Here comes Obelisk. Again, very nice. And last but not least, Slifer or Osiris. Okay, I'm just showing you these so that way if you're looking at these cards online, you can uh, find out whether or not you want to buy them. Uh, you know, in my honest opinion, this set of uh, anime effect god cards or anime style god cards is one of his best um, products. I would like to see them in a higher rarity, maybe something like super rare or even parallel rare would be awesome. Um, but for $25 a set for the commons with their effect slates, it's definitely worthwhile. So, as far as Shinshiro Guitars goes, I'd give his orcas about an 8 out of 10. Um, I think do I think they're worth ten dollars? They are worth ten dollars a piece. Yes, I do. I'd li I'd like to see them more around the seven to eight dollar range. To be honest with you, I think that'd be more fair when you're buying in bulk. If you're trying to build a deck or something like that, you'd want to spend one hundred and fifty dollars on you know, fifteen cards. But overall, they are worth the money. I just wish he'd remove a few things. But they're some of the better orcas that I have seen. So definitely worth checking out. I'll have a link to his eBay page in the description down below. All right. Hope this video was helpful. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Until next time, we're Escape Novice signing out. Peace. Take care.